Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had an awesome day like always. Today, um, I'm going to make a video of this small questions. Um, this is a really fast Q&A by myself. I have my kids next to me. Abraham. Why do you guys always scream when I start my videos, huh? This is Abraham, if you guys didn't know. If you guys are new to the channel, these are my children. He is... Uh, he is... He is one year old, but in months, he is 14 months. He's 14 months old. <laughs> this other one here is my three-year-old. His name is Christian, and he is just a very, very hyper kid. So those are my children. Now today I want to make this video of just some questions that you guys have been sending me about my pregnancy. Now I have the questions here on my phone like I always do. Every time let me just look for them. Okay. These are just questions about my pregnancy basically um, like how it's going with me and all that kind of good stuff. Um, some questions that you guys want to know. So I'm going to be reading them. Um, in my in, through my phone so there's no further to do the first question planning on breastfeeding or bottle feeding seriously I can't make a video with like without a kid because they're always gonna be next to me like Abraham is doing right now pulling my shirt that's why my shirt's all, all down like that because these kids are wild Seriously, when you have more than one, it's just like having like a dozen of kids next to you. Like seriously, no difference. He, there's something about windows with Abraham. Abraham really loves windows. This is Abraham, by the way, the smallest one. He really loves windows. He, if I put him down, look, look, just listen to him, okay? Put him down. Unless he's entertained by something that he's not gonna cry. But if he's not entertained and he wants to go on the bed, he will start crying. Okay, now I think it's a good moment to start this video, honestly. But like I was saying, I'm out of breath sometimes. I can't even breathe. Um, like I was saying, uh, planning on breastfeeding or bottle feeding. Um, I really want to breastfeed. Like I feel like I always wanted to breastfeed. My first child, I didn't breastfeed him because like he had like a lip tire or tongue tie or something no, that never got a fix or anything to be honest uh, but that's what I thought he had because he 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 latched you know good but he didn't like um like suck you know he didn't grab he didn't take milk anything so I think he had something wrong with his lip or maybe his tongue I have no idea but at the end of the day um they didn't never fixed it and he just I just bottle fed him and yeah I don't know if it's because I don't know if it's because of that, because they never detected it, so I don't know if that's actually the cause. I'm just guessing right now. Um, but I don't know if it was because I was induced with him at 38 weeks because I had gestational diabetes with my first pregnancy and only my first pregnancy, which is really weird because with my two pregnancies, um, with Abraham and this one, I'm not. Um, I'm not. I don't have to say my diabetes. The nurse, though, my doctor, though, did told me that it was probably because of different dads. I don't know if it has to do anything with it, but that's what she told me. That probably because different, it has different dads. And they say that sometimes the gestation or diabetes comes with the dad or something like that. I have no idea, but something like that she told me. And so pretty much that's where I left it from. Um... So, I had gestational diabetes with my first pregnancy, so they had to induce me at 38 weeks just to make sure the baby was not big. And the baby was not even big at all. He was 6 pounds, 8 ounces, so, like, he wasn't that big. Um, but they wanted me to induce me just, you know, to make sure the baby was not large. Because usually if you have gestational diabetes, your baby will get um, big and will have more weight on, on, on the baby. Um, but I don't know if that's just a myth because to be honest, my baby was six pounds. So like, I don't know if that's actually true or not true, but it's what it is. Um, so yeah, I do plan on breastfeeding. Um, 
if, if I can breastfeed, I will breastfeed. But it's not something like, oh my god, I'm gonna breastfeed no matter what happens. You know, like if I absolutely can't, or I don't have a milk, or I'm not producing enough, or our baby has some problems latching, or you know, I can pump. But I feel like breastfeeding is more bonding than actually pumping and, and feeding the baby i don't know if that's just me i think that's just me but i don't feel like i can pump you know what i mean like i can't pump but um i don't know i mean the baby will still give the the milk the nutritious milk there is and he's making me laugh um but i don't know if i can do that but we're, we're gonna see it all depends on baby if baby can latch good properly then i'm gonna breastfeed but it really depends on the situation all right um does the baby moving hurt um i am 27 wait 27 weeks and two days today um and right now it sometimes like sometimes it hurts but not really um i don't know i don't know why but i've been noticing at this stage um i'm almost entering the third trimester at 28 weeks um a lot of moms say thir third trimester is 27 weeks and to be honest it's 27 weeks 28 weeks doesn't matter but it's some time in there right and um i'm entering the third trimester and um right now the kicks are very strong i feel like they're very strong than when like the first trimester of course or the second semester right now they're really stronger and i feel like they sometimes do hurt it really depends where the baby hits because like it hits like the lower part sometimes like my Whoa. ribs or my rib cage or like i don't know not rib cage Whoa. but like my ribs basically i don't know somewhere around there um and it just like hurts you know sometimes but i don't know if it's because of the baby kicking or just because i'm pregnant or i don't know what it is but there's sometimes that the baby kicks really hard like sometimes i'm like wow wow that was that was a strong kick and then sometimes there's like really low kicks not that much of strong kick and so i don't know if it's like really depends like what kind of kicks baby kicks and what kind of moves she makes and um stuff like that so it really depends on the baby and the way she kicks but to be honest at the third trimester for me it really never hurt like like bad i say it does hurt you know a little bit but it's not like it's not like the worst feeling you know what i mean like it's 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 fairly mm, uncomfortable but it's what it is um how do you overcome anxiety during pregnancy um the anxiety of anything happening i feel like it's always gonna be there you know it's always gonna be in the mind especially when you had a miscarriage especially especially when you have miscarriage it's gonna be in your mind the anxiety of something going wrong with pregnancy something going wrong with the baby something you know not right with the baby i feel like it's always gonna be there but how do you over overcome that um i feel like you just don't think about it um i don't think about it that much i just kind of mm, mm, just kind of do it like you know like i don't really think about it i just pretty much just do just think about something else i get entertained doing something else or make, making youtube videos or going outside for a walk and just like stuff like that you know like i don't really think about it like don't think about it it's gonna go um, smooth if you just don't think about it don't don't have your mind set on that only uh maybe think about something else or maybe go or talk to your friends, you know, like stuff like that. I feel like that will help me overcome it and stuff like that. So, but in the first trimester, though, it was really hard. I always had anxiety, something going bad. I had a miscarriage, so it's like, you know, my my mind is always gonna like, oh my god, everything is good, everything is good, like you know, stuff like that. And um, hold on. Ah, oh, well, that's good water. Okay. But yeah, just don't think about it, I feel like. And that's how I do it. I don't know. Um, what's your birth plan with midwife and doula? Do you have a doula or a midwife? I don't have none, to be honest. I don't have none of those. I don't. I've never had one, to be honest. I've never had one, and I don't feel like I need one. Now, there's moms, though, that it, they're very helpful, and they're just like mentors like they help you and and just go through all that process basically but to be honest i've never like 
I've never thought I needed one. Like, I never never crossed my mind of having one, to be honest. Um, so, I don't have none of those. I just have a regular OBGYN, and that's pretty much what I have, to be honest. And, yeah. I mean, it's my third baby, so it's not... For me, I don't think it's very necessary at this point. I don't, I don't think I need one. And, I mean, I know what to do. I know what to expect. It's always different every pregnancy. Every pregnancy is different. But, um... I don't think I need one, you know, I don't. Okay, um, okay, do you plan on eating your placenta? Now, this question was, was very, like, there was, like, three people that asked me the same thing, and, and, and to be honest, no, like, I have never done that. I know people do that, though, because it has, like, um, benefits and, like, really good nutritionals and, like, stuff like that, like, really good, um, stuff in it and people you know dehydrate it and put it in pills and you know drink them like that and pills and swallow them with water or whatever um but i'm not gonna do that i feel like i feel like that's just a little gross like not not to be mean or anything i mean if you do that go ahead it's, it's really not i don't think it's bad but i don't think it's good either like i don't I don't see no beneficial stuff. I know there is probably benefits and and really good stuff in placenta, but uh, but I don't do that. I just rather take uh post uh, prenatal and like postnatals and all that kind of stuff. I'd rather take that than that. To be honest, I'm just really being honest right here. Like I'm being open and you know honest with you guys. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I've never done that in. It, it's just some things that grosses me out. I just can't, you know, like, no, no. So, no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Um, what was your favorite and least favorite part of pregnancy? My favorite part is feeling the baby kick, feeling the baby move, making, you know, like, that bonding, like, that I know there's something in there. I know there's something that it's going to be here soon. Like that type of stuff, that type of feeling I love about pregnancy is my, my, my favorite feeling of pregnancy. My least favorite feeling of pregnancy really needs to be the birth. I mean, like, you know, I don't like that. Like, you know, giving birth. I mean, I don't like that. I don't like doing that. <laughs> That's just too painful for me. I don't, I don't do, I don't do epidural or I just go natural. And I don't want to be cocky about it. I mean, everybody's body is different. If you're having an epidural, good for you. If you're not, good for you. But, like, I don't like epidurals, to be honest. And I don't do that with that. I've never had one, but I don't want to have one ever. But I think that's the worst thing. But, like, in pregnancy, as it goes in pregnancy, I feel like the least favorite thing is my back hurting. Like, a lot. Like, it hurts. And sometimes it's just a pain that I just can't deal with. Like, to be honest, I just hurt so much. And, yeah, my legs, oh, my God, my legs. Who no, cramping my legs when I stand up, when I go to the bathroom, when I move from my bed one side to another side, uh, different position. When I move, oh, my God, my legs just hurt. Okay, like, they they hurt a lot. So, I think that's my least favorite, favorite thing about pregnancy. Um, are you planning to use an epidural, a bath, or all natural? Are you nervous about the birth process? And this is what I was talking about. Um, I am planning. I'm planning to go natural, you no know, epidural. I did want to do a bath, like I wanted to be in a bath and kind of like soothing and stuff like that with my second pregnancy with Abraham. Um, I wanted to be in a bath and kind of like contractions, you know, to through go through them in a bathtub. And but. I didn't, could, I couldn't do that because at that point I was already like nine centimeters dilated and the doctor didn't want me to do that because she thought if I went, because I was planning to go on a bath, like I was planning to go. I even told her, can you turn the bath, uh, bath up for me for I can take, for I can like, you know, go on the bath and kind of like soothing, you know, the water. And um, we didn't have time for that. Baby was already coming and she didn't want to risk it. So no, I didn't do that. But if I can do it with this one, I will. Like, I, I will. And um, now, I feel like that will be more relaxing. But I don't know. Probably not. Probably, yeah. I don't know because I never know that. But I'm trying, planning to go on natural. Um, I'm a little nervous of the, of the birthing process because I know how, how it is. I know how painful it is. I know how many stuff could go wrong. I know how many, like, everything, like, anything could go wrong at that point. And, um... 
yeah so i'm really nervous i i get nervous at that moment um i get really scared uh nervous um yeah just kind of like oh my gosh here we go you know like that and yeah um are you planning to have more babies at this point i don't think i'm gonna have like seriously i'm not gonna have no more kids like i'm not uh, at this point, I don't want no more kids. I feel like with three is enough for me. I am 19. I feel like I don't need no more. Maybe in the future, my grandma told me that I should have more in the future, like five years from now, six years from now. And to be honest, that's a really good idea. I don't want kids right now because I want to give the attention to the kids I already have right now. And I feel like I don't, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to be pregnant all my life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, I don't, I, I want to go on the trips, I want to go on, on rides, on the roller coasters, I want to, you know, experience all that kind of stuff, you know, like, I want to do that, and, yeah, so, no, so, I don't think right now, at this moment, um, well, at this moment, I'm already pregnant, but, like, in the future, I don't think I'm gonna have another baby until, like, six, five, or three, three to five years from now, like, after the, this baby's born, so, yeah, that's, when this baby's probably like three or four, I'm probably gonna try, but to be honest, not right now. Like, after this baby's born. <laughs> okay. I think that's all the questions. Hmm. Yeah, that's all the questions, guys. I really hope, I'm really glad you guys sent me these questions. To be honest, I really love doing Q&As, and I'll be eating something right now, but like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going out right now, and I'm gonna go eat or something, I don't know. I haven't ate nothing, it's literally like... 11:52 and I haven't even ate nothing like you know I ha you know what I mean I have really bad habits of not eating in the mornings I don't know why but it is what it is um um I'm gonna go now I hope you guys really enjoyed this video like always if you have any more questions please comment down below or Q and A or in my Instagram there's always gonna be links always in my description of all my social medias okay guys so go follow me there and that's pretty much it this heartburn is really bad. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys have an awesome day, like always, and like always, God bless. Goodbye.